welcome to Flight Space and Robotics. We're going to do a combined project here. We're going to be working on a career brochure. Um, we're going to do some instruction via video this time around and um, kind of break it up. It's going to be broken up into several parts. Feel free to watch the parts that you need or skip the parts that you don't. We'll start with a little table of contents um, so you can see what parts are going to be coming up and kind of see the order so you know which way to skip through. So let's get started. Okay, go ahead and getting started here. Here are the four areas. Feel free to go to the area you would like in the video. You'll just have to skip ahead. Um, first is picking your engineering job and posting the Padlet so you let others know what you're doing so nobody else takes your job. Um, next one is going to be on research and taking notes using Evernote for the four areas that I'd like you to have. The next part will be sources, um, how to keep track of your sources in your notes. And the last one will be using Microsoft Publisher, just a little tutorial on that, where to find it, so on. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to the Padlet section. If you would like, go ahead and skip over this one if you already know how to do this or um, are ready for the next section. All right, in Padlet, you're going to keep we're going to keep track of who's doing what engineering job. You may only do one type of or only one person per engineering job. So as you can see here, I've already listed out um, the engineering that I'm going to do. The electrical engineer. I've listed my name and period. Uh, and this is a way to keep track of what engineering jobs have already been taken. The electrical engineering job will be deleted by the end of the start of this project, but I'm just doing this as an example. If your job has already been taken or the one you would like to do has already been taken, then feel free to go back to your um, engineering scavenger hunt and choose a different one that you have information on. Um, if you haven't completed that, I would recommend completing that beforehand. Um, hopefully you've done the project, the Flipgrid or the Padlet for your favorite engineer and have got some information started. So good luck and I look forward to seeing this. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, now that we've completed the Padlet, let's move on to the research portion of things. So you can see here, I'm already in OneNote. Um, I've created a, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see, let's get into that. Um, I'm not gonna worry about minimizing that right now. All right, so you can go ahead and see, I have created a page to keep track of my research. Um, I'm gonna use the line divider here just to separate out my sections. You may wanna create a new page for each one. You may wanna use the table feature um, to keep track of your information. Um, but the important part is going to be to um, kinda make sure that we are focusing on um, just the information that I'm asking for. So here are the four areas that I'd like information on and I'm going to start with job description. So um, the temptation is to do this, is to go to Google and say elect, go to electrical engineer, see that I spelled it wrong, yes yeah, so you can go ahead and laugh at me if you want, I don't care. Alright so in Wikipedia you go here and say oh okay here's what I need or to go here here's what I need. So I'm going to go to Wikipedia um, I'm okay with you using Wikipedia and going, okay, here's everything that I need. Electrical engineer talks to it about it and going in and saying, okay, bamo, copy and paste. And there I go. So, but more importantly, let's take a look at what this says. Electrical engineering is a professional engineering discipline that generally deals with the study and application of electrical, electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism. The field first became an identifiable occupation in the latter half of the 19th century. This is more the history of electrical engineering. Um, it does not go in depth here, but what I am going to say is electrical engineering is now subdivided into wide range categories. No, well, it talks a little bit more about electrical engineering. Um, electrical engineers typically hold a degree in electrical engineering. Well, wait a minute here. This talks a little bit about the um, uh, the education that I need. So I'm going to cut that and I'm going to come down here to education training and I'm going to hold on to that. But I'm also going to say, I want to say, where did I get that? Well, I got it from here. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. And I'm just going to say here in, and I'm going to use brackets to say control V, there's my source. Okay, so that's going to be important later on. So I've got that. Um, work in a wide range of industries and skills, right? But again, none of this really has to do with what the job description is. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this here and let's see let's get rid of that and get rid of oh. and you can see I really got um, you know what I'm gonna do this the easy way here I'm gonna go control X and just go and undo um, 
some of this here. Okay, and I'm going to come down here in education. I'm going to go control V. There we go. All right, so job description. Let's go back here to our Google search. And we're going to see here and go, let's see here, what do you learn as an engineer? What are the duties of an electrical engineer? That might be closer to different type of engineers. Um, let's see here, what does an electrical engineer do? So, you know what? I'm going to take a look at this one because job description is kind of what they do. So, let's see here, what is an electrical engineer? What does an electrical engineer do? All right, so I'm going to come down here and work in a variety of projects such as computers, robot cells, and let's see here, deals with electronic circuits. Um, you know what? Okay, so this has got some more information that might be helpful. Now I'm going to skip, so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to say, all right, this might be helpful. Um, and then I'll put this under here and just say, again, get the source of where I got it and let's just say whoops that didn't do what I wanted to do here oh control V and then shift and then bracket all right so there's one bit of information that I've got there so now I'm gonna go down to another one I always like to go and find a couple of sources here so let's hear that's one here um, engineering jobs glass door so let's see here um, oh no, this one's here. Okay, if this is, talks about um, oh, job description. Oh, job description. Here's what I'm looking for: lead new product development. Okay, that makes absolutely no sense to me. So um, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna say, oh, YouTube video, and I'm just gonna now with YouTube videos. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it really quickly. Um, I'm gonna tell you that these can be great. Um, to get the information, but you'll want to summarize it, and <coughs> it's kind of hard to put this information. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say, kind of watch a few. My name is Jemima Jackson, and I'm a graduate electrical engineer at M Control. I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna say I'm gonna watch a little bit of this just to see if it gives me what I want. Design it so I will draw it up on the computer and everything like that. Um, and then I'll be involved with all the ordering of all the parts. And then so I'm going to go ahead and say that this will do what I'm looking for. So I'm going to say, um, again, I'm going to get my source. I'm going to copy here. Now, the way I take notes on this is I'm going to say um, video, video notes. And I'm just going to use a list here and talks about um, works with electronics. Draws up electrical diagrams. And again, here I'm just going to go here and I'm going to do my dot, control V, dot, um, and there. So I've got this information here, job description. I'm not going to go through each of these, um, but what you're, what I, I am going to go through um, the working conditions. Um, this is what I'm looking for here is where do they typically work? Do they work outside? Do they work outside primarily? Is it an office? Is it an office job? Is there a certain certain part of the country that they work in? You know, and then you know, as far as that, um, <coughs> you know, are they? Ha is it hazardous? Hazardous. So I'm going to be looking for information that supports this. Here I'm going to be looking for um, you know, entry level, mid level, and um, experienced. Um, experienced. You know what kind of what? What do they get paid? And this one's okay to do as a list, but again, you're going to want to keep track of where you got your information. Entry level would be what do they make just starting out. Mid level would be if they've kind of established themselves. Experienced would be if they make, um, if they've been in the job for a long time. Education and training. Um, what I'm looking for on this one, these sorts of things are, um, do they have to go to a trade school? Do they have to go to college? Um, how long do they have to go to college? How long do they have to go to trade school? Um, do they have to be a member of the union? Um, or is it a non-union position? So those are the kind of things that I'm looking for there. Um, the last thing I do want to show you is I'm going to go back to YouTube. 
or back to Google. And I'm going to say, okay, and image search here. So getting pictures, um, let's say here's a good picture. Let's say I want to use a picture of an electrical engineer here. And I'm going to say I want to use, um, I'm going to use this one for working conditions here. Oh, where did it go? All right, I'm going to click on that one. Now, the easiest way to do this would be to go to, um, I like to actually go to the page that the image is at. Um, so here's my source. So I'm going to say um, copy. And I'm going to go back here to Evernote. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to give myself some space down here. I'm going to say pictures. Or, um, Let's just say working conditions. I can put pictures down here, or I can say okay, um, pictures, and go control V. There's the source. Again, I'm going to put my brackets around it, and so I know it's a source. Um, oops, if I could spell pictures correctly. And then I'm going to go ahead. Now, I'm going to say okay, here's the picture. I'm going to say copy image and go back oops go back to my here and i'm going to say copy image and go paste and let's see if it does paste the picture in there no so you may run into that so what i would recommend doing is right clicking on the image and going save image as and mine may look a bit different than yours but that's okay um, you still have that same information you may want to go to um, under this pc or yours may be under computer and look for your username and under your username you'll see a pictures file and then you can save your picture there um, so that you can upload it into the brochure later okay so make sure you get that image um, from the site don't just say um, copy image this is not the source google is never a source okay so let's go back here so we've talked about getting pictures we've talked about research We've talked about the parts that I need. Uh, the next part is going to be, I believe, um, sources, which I've already covered. So we're going to move into Publisher, where you can find Publisher and just a quick little tutorial on how to use Publisher. All right. Hello, welcome to the last section, Publisher. I know that last one was a little bit long, but hopefully I got the information that you needed. Um, and again, you're breaking this into parts. Okay, my, I'm on a Windows 10 machine, you're on a Windows 7 machine. However, the way you can find the programs and the way the programs work are similar. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in here. So what you're gonna wanna do to find Publisher is to get onto a Windows machine. You cannot do this on your Chromebooks. You need to do this on a Windows-based machine. So this part you may need to do in class. All right, so as we come down here, we're gonna come down to the Windows button, same place as yours, and we're gonna click on that. And yours will look a bit different. You can see here, I have mine under mostly used. You may wanna go under all programs and look for Microsoft Office 2013. And I'm gonna go see if I, I don't have, yep, Microsoft Office 2013 tools and see and then you can see it's not there under mine um, but what you're going to look for is publisher i have publisher 2016 that's okay so you just go ahead and click on it and you've got that open there the other thing you may want to do to make it easier to find is once you find it go ahead and right click on it with your mouse and go to create shortcut mine would be pin to start um, or um, pin to taskbar yours can be yours would be create shortcut okay um, so that's how you can go ahead and get find publisher. So let's move into publisher here. All right, as you open it up, you're going to see that you have some various. You may have tools if you your documents if you've used in the past. Um, if not, this area will be blank. You'll have some templates here that you can use, and this is where we're going to go to first. So I'm going to narrow this down. Suggested searches. Um, hopefully, one of them is businesses or or business or you can scroll through and what we're looking for is brochures. So I'm gonna click on business and we'll see a category come up. 
and one of those categories is hopefully going to be brochures there it is right there brochures and now you have some templates to choose from you have an informational brochure which a lot of people go to um, you have a business trifold brochure or a business trifold brochure soft blue design you can change the colors there um, you also have a four panel design if you'd like to use that um, I'm gonna go with the soft blue design and I'm gonna go ahead and click on create alright first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the file menu again mine looks a tad bit different but everything is primarily the same so I'm gonna start by going to file and I'm gonna go down to save as and I'm gonna go to this PC and I'm gonna find find my documents um, you'll look for your username and I'm just going to, again, it'll come up like this for you. Um, you go to this PC, find your username, find the documents file, and then I'm going to call this, and I'm going to leave it as a publisher file, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now, that'll give me that. It'll make sure everything saves properly. All right, so you have a lot of information going on here. Just to bring your eyes over to the left hand side of the screen, you have two pages over here. You have a front page and a back page. This is kind of the inside of things. You've got some pictures already in here. Um, now you can add in things. You can add in your own kind of touches um, and so on. So what I'm going to do is kind of show you let's see your page design. If you go to page design, this is where you can and it change some things up and change the the colors if you'd like. Um, you can also adjust the fonts and to some things a little bit more of your personality. Um, so I would recommend you go ahead and do that. Um, you know, make it your own. I'm just going to go with a little dark blue here. All right. So once I've got this here, I'm going to say, okay, great. Now I'm going to go to now the insert menu. This is where you can insert some things and insert pictures and things. I'm going to stick with the home tab for right now. Okay, so where it says product or service. Um, oops. Electrical. T-R-I-C. Electrical. Engineer. All right. And I'm going to say, you know what? That's neat and all that, but I want to... I want to jazz that up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And then I'm going to come back to my page design. And I'm going to come back to insert. And I'm going to go over here to word art. And I'm going to say, you know what? I like that. I think that looks cool. So I'm going to just paste my text in there. And I'm going to say, bam out. And now you'll see it moves it in here. And I'm just going to drag this. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Maybe make it a little bit taller. Kind of fit that into the panel. Um, and maybe I want to click on the yellow thing here and um, kind of stretch it or zigzag it here. And I'm going to say, well, you know, that really doesn't read well. So let's go back here and go to change shape. And let's see here. Oh, there we go. Nice little wavy here. And I can control the, the waviness of things. You know what? That looks a lot better. I like that. I want to insert a picture. Well, okay. I can go to pictures. Um, I can go to or I can go to the insert and I'm going to go to the picture area and this is where I have my pictures here. I can, you know, take me straight to my pictures folder. I'm going to click in there. I'm going to insert it. And you're going to see, yep, I know it's a little bit big. We'll pop that and we'll resize it um, like so and get that on there. There's my title. And you know what? I want to add a little frame to it. That might be cool. I'm going to expand that a little bit and say, ooh, circular frames. I like circular frames. And I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit. And there, there we go. Now, down here, I don't really want this logo thing. So I'm just going to click on the line there and go delete. And um, now, you will want to put your name. Oops. Okay, so I got my name there. So there's. Um, just the title, the title page. This is going to be the back page. This is going to be where I want your sources. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw a text box. I'm going to make it a kind of a fairly large text box. And I'm just going to say, all right, I'm going to adjust the font size. And I like, uh, I like Broadway. I'm just going to say, so S O U U R C E S sources. And um, I'm going to get rid of this part down here. Just hit delete. And I got my text box here. 
And, and I'm just gonna switch over to Evernote really quick and I'm gonna say, whoop, there's my source. And I'm gonna say Control C. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go, I want to paste it in there. And I'm gonna tell me, I'm gonna say this is for my job description. And, and then I'm gonna say education and list out my sources there. Okay, and um, you know, also want to list out the, where I got the picture sources. Okay, so this is the front panel. This is kind of the back panel. Now, this is the or this is the you know, the middle panel, um, if you will. This one here can be used for more information. I'm going to jump in here to this one here. Um, this is where you're going to want to put job description, and then I want to say. Job working conditions, and let's say, well, you know what? Let's go education, and then maybe on the back is where we're going to put pay scale. Okay, um, you can order those in any way you want, but that way. Um, I'm just kind of showing you how to do that. Working conditions don't do not necessarily need to be that long. You can insert some pictures, but again, I am looking for paragraphs, and I'm looking for paragraphs in your own um, in your own words, not just copy and pasted. Okay, if you copy and paste something that's not in your own words, that will count as a grammar or spelling error. The rubric is available in the um, app. If you misspell something, you can just right click and spell it correctly. Okay, so um, again, the rubric is available in Google Classroom. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com. Good luck and happy brochuring. Well, I know it's a long video, but um, I may be in and out of class, so I just wanted to give you a resource to look to. Um, other things that you can use are YouTube. Um, I encourage you to use YouTube within um, for publisher um, and maybe research as well. The other thing within publisher is you have a help menu. Go ahead and use that or Google how to do things in help menu. Lastly, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com should you need any help as well. Um, good luck and I look forward to seeing these brochures when you get them done. This video is recorded at Shadow Ridge Studios. Instructor is John Garrett. For help and more information, you may contact me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com. This video is protected under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial 4.0 International License. For more information, visit creativecommons.org.